westward from mainland Norway, just north of the famous Lofoten Islands. There is a remote paradise with snow-white beaches, crystal clear waters, dramatic craggy mountains and breathtaking fjords. The archipelago of Westerolen. Before reaching Westerolen Islands, we first had to continue our ride over Lofoten Islands. So before we came here, many people told me that this northeastern part of Lofoten that we are visiting right now at the moment, moment is not supposed to be as nice as the other part, but I think it's still very scenic. I mean, you're constantly driving by impressing fjords and it's as well much less touristic here than in the other part. So I think I really like it. Our plan was to take a ferry from Lofoten Islands to the Westerolen Archipelago. We were supposed to take this ferry behind us, but we realized that it's taking around 40 minutes from now to wait here, so we decided to ride another way to um, be more on the road and not have so much waiting time. So no ferry for us, there is another way which means staying for a long way on the island of Hinoya and Hinoya is part of Lofoten and part of Westerolen Islands and there's actually a road connection between um, those islands so there is no need uh, to take a ferry if you want to go to Westerolen we just wanted to do it because we thought it's the more scenic ride but now we get this The west of the island Hinoya belongs to Westerolen the southern western tip is part of Lofoten, because a few decades ago it was only reachable by boat from Svolver. Hinoya is the biggest island of the coast of Norway's mainland. Here we are on Doya and I really have to admit that going to the island on Doya was actually the reason why I wanted to visit Westerolen Islands because there is supposed to be some of the most beautiful beaches of Norway and I of course want to see them. The archipelago of Westerolen is probably not a region that comes immediately to your mind when you're planning a trip to Norway. They are often overshadowed by the famous Lofoten Islands. Even though Westerolen Islands are located just north of the popular tourist site. We are now in Westerolen Island and I'm going to Senja and it's absolutely beautiful here. I think Westerolen is not part of Lofoten anymore. It's actually its own little place and islands.
if you want to drive the Norwegian scenic route Andoya, that only opened in 2012, just head to the west coast of the island and follow it. The 51 km long road between Ognes Kriset and Andenes offers magnificent views of long white sandy beaches, cracked peaks and the vast open ocean. Look what I found here! And this was only a first glimpse of what should be our lunch of many of our next days. Northern Norway, Sweden and Finland are full of blueberries. And this here is so-called cloudberries. There's quite a few here. So here trying now the blueberries I just found. Mm, very good. And next one, the cloudberries. Oh, very sour, but good. So now we are arriving at one of the places that Adoya is famous for on one of its most amazing beaches and I'm a little bit excited. Hoivika Beach is one of the most beautiful beaches I ever saw. It's surrounded by the 700 meter high green mountain wall Kvas Tinden and has sand that is as white as on a Caribbean beach. Hoivika is only accessible by foot. Either you hike from the Tom Blyke or from Stave, where we stopped with our motorcycles. Back in the days, there were a few families living on Hoivika beach, but when the revenue of herring fishing disappeared around 1900, everyone moved away. Hoivika has been deserted since that time until today. So even though we skipped the first ferry, now we will finally have to take another one because there is no other way and we really hope that we will catch this one because um, otherwise we will be stuck here for another day. From Andenes there goes a ferry to Grillefjord on the next island Senja. But it's not possible to pre-book tickets for this ferry and it crosses only once a day. So we ended up in line for hours to make sure that we get this connection. All these broken the ocean around Westerolen Islands is one of the best places on earth to spot whales. Whale watching tour operators can guarantee you a sighting pretty much all year round. What species of whale depends on the time of the year. There are sperm whales, orcas, pilot whales, fin whales and humpbacks. During winter the whales follow the herring into the fjord, where you then can see the whales breach very close to the shores. We even spotted a whale on this ferry crossing but it was too far away to be caught on camera. And I struggled with some other problems anyways. My seasickness. No, no good. Beautiful behind you. We'll be scattered in the wind. Wind. 
I chose to stay on the fresh air during the ferry ride to cure my seasickness. And guess who got a big sunburn in the face after having the first hours of sun on this whole journey. I nearly survived the ferry. Welcome to the island Senja that you can see behind me. Thanks for joining our short visit to Westerolen Islands. The journey to North Cape will pause for a week, because I have a special Christmas episode for you next Thursday. I will be traveling to the Swiss mountain town Zermatt, where motorcycles are forbidden, but you can ski instead. Subscribe to join me for some amazing views on Switzerland's most famous snowy mountains, and leave a thumbs up and comment if you liked this episode. <laughs>